Is Illumina a stock that will make you a ton of money? Should I add Illumina to my portfolio instead of buying more Tesla and Square? I'll answer those questions and more for you right now. Welcome back everyone. In this video, we will cover the three reasons Illumina could be another game-changing stock. One massive problem I see with this stock and we will answer the question, should you buy Illumina over Tesla and Square? And if you wanna be part of this community, real people looking to gain real wealth together and have a little fun along the way, hey, don't be so serious all the time about the shades or my busy hands and my over the top frothy stock picks. Let's have fun instead. So go ahead and subscribe, hit that little notifications bell and while you're down there, go ahead and hit the like button as well. You guys asked for it, and now you're gonna get it. Today we will review Illumina. This was actually a tough stock to research for me. You guys know I went to public school, and I love science fiction. But this is like, you know, real science. Yep, that's a great movie. Like every other dude back in the day, I didn't at least try that or want to try that. Really, but I was talking about actual science. Thankfully, as an investor, I don't need to be a doctor in order to invest in this company. They can have the best, most game-changing thing ever. And if they are run poorly from a company perspective, that game-changing thing won't matter as far as an investment goes. So I will stick with that part and leave the science to the smart people who have less of a chance of getting a date than I do. So let's jump in. The first reason Illumina could be a game-changing stock is they dominate their market. It is rare that you see a company that dominates a market in the medical space like this. Illumina makes up about 70% of the gene sequencing market. To further illustrate the point, they called off a merger they had with their biggest competitor due to concerns over the merger not being approved because it would essentially give them a monopoly. Not the game, like a monopoly. Like they dominate the whole space, all of it. And their nearest competitor is small in comparison that they were gonna take over. Both the UK and US regulatory agencies said they would file formal complaints against the merger, which ultimately killed the deal. The investors and the companies both agreed that the merger would have changed the game significantly as the advances that could have been gained by combining the two companies would have been, well, a game changer. So clearly there is no real competition in their space and they are so big that they can't even really gobble up their competitors anymore. But in the future, especially if governments get out of the way or their proposition for a merger would help with, you know, a crisis, maybe like the one that's going on right now, for example, they could finally make the huge leap forward. And the second reason Illumina could be a game-changing stock is a superior balance sheet. This is where I really get excited about the company, I'm not gonna lie. It has a wonderful balance sheet. It may be hard to find information on management, especially because their CEO isn't really present on Twitter like uh, other CEOs we may know. But usually the balance sheet is where the rubber meets the road in terms of a well-run company. Remember, there is no way any of us has any real idea about the science behind gene sequencing and neither do the Wall Street pros. Slow down, slow down. There may be a few of you out there that do understand it, but the rest of us have a small amount of understanding at best. But luckily, if you're looking at buying any company, the balance sheet is made up of all the same things no matter what the company actually does. So let's take a quick look at their balance sheet and hit the highlights. So here you see they have a ton of cash on hand at just over $3 billion. For comparison's sake, Tesla has just over $8 billion in cash. So $3 billion is not a small amount given the size and scope of Tesla versus Illumina. Liabilities are at 2.6 billion, which easily could be paid off with the cash on hand. So that's not really a problem. And if you notice, the liabilities have been trending down over the past couple of years. As I comb through the balance sheet and historical balance sheets, they consistently add debt and other liabilities, but then it's quickly followed up by a fast pay down and an increase in the cash overall and an increase in revenue as well. A great sign that management is strategically using very manageable amounts of various liabilities to push the company forward and improve the balance sheet in short order. 
All signs point towards a wonderfully run company from the finance side of the house. The third reason Illumina could be a game-changing stock is Illumina being the first to get FDA approval for an illness gene-based test. Now understand completely this is very speculative, but it does open the door for future explosive growth in my opinion. Illumina's testing is gene-based, so it has the potential to really be an outlier that will be difficult to copy and it will give scientists more data than they can currently glean from the current illness testing. If we continue to see as they predict more and more of these super illnesses or bugs or whatever you want to call them, the ability to rapidly test is critical to keeping these outbreaks under control. If Illumina is able to build out the proper infrastructure, not just for the current illness, but also make it to where it's able to be altered to rapidly recalibrate for future illnesses, they could become the go-to company for testing in future outbreak scenarios. As we have seen with the current outbreak, testing continues to be one of the biggest hurdles that we need to overcome. If they can take this approval, perform extremely well, and lay in the infrastructure for future needs, they could easily become a 3x stock in my opinion if all that happens. But there is one massive problem I see with the stock. Now let me get this out of the way right now. I love Chicken Genius Singapore. The guy is smart, really funny, and he does his research to say the least. I mean, like, he does next level research. And I'm pretty sure he's a subscriber and he likes all my videos. So that clearly proves that he's a super smart guy. In researching this stock, outside of his videos, and then a few copycat videos that followed, which I hate that by the way, there really wasn't a lot of information out there beyond the financials that I could find. The financials are always my go-to when evaluating a stock, but I needed to understand at least a little bit about what they do, the market, the competition, all that good stuff. And I just simply could not figure out why everyone was asking about this company. Tesla I get, Square I get, but Illumina? It's not been discussed to my knowledge in any of the investing journals or sources that I read and pay for, and it most certainly has not come up in any conversation with any of the other investor friends that I have. And I cannot help but think that many of you chose to invest in Illumina based on his videos. So I did something I normally don't do when researching a company. I watched YouTube videos on Illumina. And specifically, Chicken Genius Singapore videos on Illumina because I know he does quality work and that was really the only quality that I could see out there in terms of videos. And not surprisingly, he got everything right except for one thing. And it appears minor in nature, and it actually is missed a lot of the time when discussing medical stocks of any kind. All right, let me lay this out here for you. One of his biggest, if not the biggest thesis of growth for this stock is based on governments essentially making gene sequencing mandatory for all citizens. That may happen in other countries, but in the US, I think the absolute opposite will be true. Now do not start with the political stuff. You guys know I don't do politics. You know that, I stay away. I only look at this from what I think the government will do in the end and how it affects the company. I don't care about the politics behind it. I care about the money to be made or lost. I am an investor only. Making this compulsory or mandatory in the US will not happen. Heck, we can't even make vaccines mandatory in this country, much less something much more controversial like gene sequencing. Like it or not, there are plenty of other less controversial, proven ways to help the body heal, recover, or prevent illness, and people have to fly to Germany and other countries in order to get it done. Even athletes have been doing stem cell therapy overseas for over a decade now because you just cannot do it here in the US. And that's just using stem cells to regenerate or heal an injury. Yes, hold on, hold on, slow down. There are a few treatment options available here in the US using stem cells but it's just the tip of the iceberg in regards to all the good that it can potentially do. But the vast majority of the uses are not approved still. He also presents it as game-changing tech that everybody is trying to catch up to like Tesla. And guess what? I found the same to be true in my research on it as well. He is correct there. But I think the logic behind it is flawed for one reason. Tesla is competing in a monster market that is already well established and has been established for decades. What is the market for Illumina again? The big dogs in the medical industry are not aggressively competing in their particular market because there is no real market yet. 
at least not a large one that would warrant them jumping in. Tesla has an entire ocean full of opportunity ahead of them and is in a spot to continue to grow and take over that ocean. The ocean already exists for their product. Right now, the market for Illuminous Tech is a kiddie pool in comparison to the market for Tesla. Now I agree, Illumina is dominating that pool, but it's still a kiddie pool for now. According to his video, adoption rate is under 1% for now, but he said it would be over 80% with a huge reason why being governments making it mandatory. I really wish that was true, but I know that that is not how it will work out here in the US. He points to cost savings to the government, but our government here in the US seems to do the opposite. If it saves money, we don't seem to be interested no matter who is in power. So while I think they will grow, maybe even grow significantly, I see the avenues to explosive growth being blocked for the foreseeable future, at least here in the US. So should you buy Illumina over Tesla and Square? I still feel another correction may be coming. I will link that video at the end, but let's take a look at these three and see how they performed during the last correction. Who fared better when the original illness crash happened? Let's take a look. Here you see Tesla lost 61% from its high of 917 all the way down to $360. And here you see Square lost 56% from its high of $85 all the way down to $38. So both lost huge during the downturn. But how did Illumina fare? Looking right here, they only fell 31% from $303 down to $209. So that's great news there. On the flip side, if you bought Tesla at the bottom, you've almost three extra money in a very short amount of time. Whereas with Illumina, you would have gained about 50%. Nothing to shrug at, but definitely not 3X. So in my opinion, this is not the same type of play as Tesla or Square. These companies are much more likely to 5X, maybe even 10X in the next 10 years compared to Illumina, in my opinion. But Illumina did prove to be much more defensive during the downturn than Tesla or Square. So for me personally, if I'm not going to get the ability to 3X or 5X my money, then this stock falls out of the growth category for my portfolio. There is no dividend, so it cannot fall into that category either. If I'm not going to get growth or dividends, then I feel I have better stocks in my portfolio already and do not have the need to take on a riskier stock when I won't be getting rewarded as well as I would have with other stock picks. Now do not get it twisted. I do not think this is a bad stock at all or that you should bail or that it cannot explode through the roof. I just feel there are better ones out there that fit my criteria and my plan. Your criteria and plan is probably different than mine making this stock a perfect fit. So if that's the case, then awesome. And I do think it's a wonderful company. But for me personally, I will continue buying Tesla and Square and others, but I will not be buying Illumina. So click this video right here if you want more information about the coming market crash I see coming. Thanks.